Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing the WeChoop W1 Air Mouse. If you guys find this video or any of my other videos helpful, leave me a thumbs up down below, and don't forget to click on the red subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified for all future videos and everything I post. Okay guys, so first I'm going to go over the specs of the actual remote and what I can do and then we'll go into the more uh, unboxing and demo uh, later. So this is the uh, Wii Chip uh, W1 Air Mouse Senza 2.4 GHz. Uh, it's an Air Mouse with a built-in uh, fully QWERTY keyboard on the back. It cost uh, $12.99 uh, US, of course depending where, where you get a ship from. Uh, currently it says uh, China, but if I choose for example USA to get faster shipping. The price is going to increase to $16.99 US, so still under $20 bucks for an air mouse that has a lot of good features, except one feature which it does not have, which is the Google Assistant uh, voice recognition uh, button. So you can't really use this to kind of talk into your um, you know, Android box to run commands that way. Now, the remote itself uh, does come in a few colors, but currently at the moment uh, there's only a black version. I will leave a link down in the description below if you guys want to buy this. It is a wireless air mouse running on 2.4 GHz. So you have a 10 meter uh, distance from your actual TV and or receiver. It comes with charging cable, receiver, manual, etc, etc. And since it is running on 2.4 GHz, which means it's going to get a good amount of distance, uh, it does have a built-in lithium-ion battery and it recharges using a micro USB cable. Um, it's really it's it's a nice compact design uh, with uh, a receiver you plug into your actual device. So whether that's your computer, Android box, Nvidia Shield, projector, basically anything that has a USB port, even your computer like your Mac or Windows, it'll work as well. Um, all the buttons is pretty easy to use. Uh, it does have an infrared learning feature, but I cannot currently get it working for any of my current remotes. It could be because I don't have a I don't have a compatible remote, but usually you're not buying this for the infrared learning. You're buying this for an easier way to access your Fire TV Stick menu, your Android box. Instead of using the on-screen keyboard, you want to use the full QWERTY keyboard, which comes on the back. So the actual uh, receiver, it's like a Bluetooth adapter. So if you don't have Bluetooth, you plug this in, and then you basically connect, and you're good to go. And it's really easy to use, and it does look pretty nice. As you guys can see, it works with, you know, PS4, projector, computer, PC, smart TV, box, and our TV. And yeah, so let's show you an example of if you're using it in the office instead of using uh, your mouse and keyboard for presentations. This is actually a lot easier uh, because you're actually using your, your air mouse in the air. And this is everything basically I talked about. And now let's get into the uh, remote itself. Looking at the box itself, it's a really simple box, black and white, uh, showing you along the sides what colors uh, you have. Again, there's only black currently at the moment. On the back, it shows you what it's compatible with and the quick list of quick features that I'm going to go over soon when I demo the actual mouse itself. When you actually open it up and unbox it, it comes in a clear plastic case with the remote covered in a protective uh, plastic. And then you also get a short micro USB cable to recharge the built-in lithium ion battery. Standard cable, you guys probably have a lot of these around the house. And you get its little uh, Bluetooth receiver to plug into your device to make it work with the actual remote. Now, I'm going to do the satisfying few seconds of peeling the plastic off the remote. You guys probably don't, don't hear that, but it's always satisfying to do stuff like this. Uh, the actual remote itself has a really shiny fingerprint magnet, so you're going to be buffing this remote a lot. But other than that, the remote itself has a really great design. Uh, it's lightweight and really easy to use with lots of clicky and responsive buttons. You have your home button, your mouse button, your back menu, and your D-pad with a nice slider for your volume button. Um, again, uh, the QWERTY keyboard on the back is really comfortable to use. When you're holding it in your hand, it's uh, easy to access all the keys uh, with no issues, with no responses. You have a quick function keys to do your actual explanation point, your asterisks, your backspace, 
It has a little arrow pad as well, so when you're going up, down, left, right, and it actually looks really, really nice when holding in the hand. Now, comparing it to another remote which I recently reviewed, the ZYFZ10, it is a lot smaller because on the back you don't have that touchpad. Of course, the Z10 also does have the Google Assistant feature, so if you want that feature, I suggest getting that one. But if you're just looking for a simple, good all one remote, I recommend getting this one. And just like most air mounts, it recharges using a micro USB cable, and you plug into your Android box, your wall adapter, anything works. To start using this, just plug the receiver into your Android box or your computer, in this case my Android box. Once plugged in, it'll instantly work with the remote, no programming required. Now, using the actual remote itself, it's just like any other air mouse, it's really easy to use. Your D-pad is easily responsive when going up, down, left, right between menus, uh, when you're searching YouTube videos, when you're searching for a video, for a specific file, even when switching to the air mouse feature and scrolling up, down, left, right like a standard uh, mouse. Uh, buffering through videos and content, going through your pictures, it's all really easy to use. Um, when, you click, when you click on the actual air mouse button, it changes so you can actually use the mouse feature as you would a standard mouse. Now, um, most people want to buy this remote because they want to use the easy to use QWERTY keyboard on the back. You just flip it over, start typing, and if you're typing a website, a web address, a repo of some kind, if you want to type a specific path to a file, it's just um, really, really much easier than using the on-screen keyboard. Now, if you're going to an app or website that doesn't support your D-pad, that's when you want to use the air mouse feature. So you press the mouse on the actual remote, and now you can kind of see, scroll up, down, left, right, like you would a standard um, mouse on an actual table. So for under 20 bucks, it's really hard to beat the price, but I'm kind of sad it doesn't have the extra feature of the voice recognition, so I can't search the, my TV with my actual voice. Now, if that is not a big feature to you guys, then for $13 US, if you buy from China and for uh, lots of, if you don't mind the slow shipping, or an extra four bucks to get it faster, that is great, but overall, it works great, but if you do have a TV with, with Google Assistant, this is not the remote for you. Uh, otherwise, it's a great all-in-one remote. If you want the uh, other remote, I will leave a link in the description as well. Now, overall, uh, this is a great, great remote. My pros are it's under 20 bucks with a solid plastic build, responsive buttons, and works on all hardware. It has a full QWERTY keyboard on the back and it has a really smooth air mouse experience. Uh, it doesn't have voice recognition, and it does not have a backlit keyboard. If those two are important to you, I would buy the other mouse which I reviewed a few days ago, which is the ZYFZ10, which I will leave down in the description below as well. And there you guys have it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down below. If you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, because I'm currently doing a Twitter-only giveaway. So if you follow me on Twitter, you will get surprises as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.